Child's Children remains her passion today. During her three terms in New Mexico State Legislature, she became chair of the House Education Committee while also serving as curriculum coordinator for Powake Schools. This November, she was just elected to be our Commissioner of Public Lands, which involves <laughs> administering nine million acres of surface and generating hundreds of millions of dollars to fund New Mexico schools and universities. She is the very first woman to ever hold the office in New Mexico. <laughs> Commissioner of Public Lands, please welcome Commissioner Stephanie Richard, pardon me, Stephanie Garcia Richard. <laughs> she won one of the toughest five races in the last election nationally, nationwide. She was one of the top five contenders for the toughest seats in the country. Please welcome her. I want to show this some, some more in the audience. Please, let me hear it. Hey, hey, sisters. Hey, hey, resistors. How about that Ebony Isis booth? Let's give her another round of applause. Holy cow! Those are the voices we need to hear. Thank you. Thank you, my sister. Good, good afternoon, Albuquerque. Good afternoon, warriors. I am Stephanie Garcia Richard, the first Latina, the first teacher to serve you as Commissioner of Public Lands. And last year it was my distinct honor and privilege to stand on this very stage at this very march with record number of women who ran and won their offices. Now you've already heard all day long that in November we elected our first Democratic Latina governor, our first Latina out of Congressional District 2, and one of the first two indigenous female congresswomen in our nation's history. Yes, yes. Our, our, yes, yes. Our public land is indigenous land. Our public land is indigenous land. Yes, yes. So, ladies and gentlemen, we needed someone in the land office. Come up here with me. We needed someone in the land office who would not stand up for big oil, but would stand up for our school kids, would stand up for our lands, would stand up for the people whose land this is. Yes. Yes. Absolutely, girl. Absolutely. And it's been three months since the election, but we are still picking up the pieces of glass from the floor, from the broken ceilings that we broke in November. So now what? Now what do we do? Give back the land! We, we, need, we need voices in our government. We need voices in the government that represent Everyone, everyone, we need to see our faces, our voices reflected in the people that make decisions. We need a new government. The government was only built for our So ladies and gentlemen, even the Democrats are the oil and gas industry. Even everything that Trump has built, he has built on Obama's legacy. The settlers' government was only built for our genocide, and public land is stolen land. We must give back our ancestral lands to their rightful owners. Thank you for reminding us all, the land that we sit on right now, this land, this land that we are on right now, is indigenous land. Thank you for reminding us that.